Yeah. You, me you mentioned libertarian philosophy there. That's a, that's a very strong um, thought strand in your book, The Know-It-Alls, um, for, for many of the uh, Silicon Valley founders that you, the, that you focus on. Um, why do you think so many had such a philosophical background? Yeah, well, no, I, you know, I, would, I would call it philosophical with a very uh, uh, quote marks around it, air quotes, because I don't really think, I think libertarianism is, is really a very, very uh, thin gruel when it comes to philosophy. It's really quite uh, insipid. I don't know what word you use for it, in the sense that um, it's obviously, so partly I would say the answer, I mean, sadly, I think part of it is just, it's like adolescence. It's like, you know, I, I myself read The Fountainhead, Ayn Rand, when I was like 13 or something. I mean, if people... It's sort of a phase that go, you go through. I think it's like, uh, I don't think I ever really grooved to it, but I certainly read it, which is some investment of time. Um, and, you know, so I think there is something like in it when you are, you know, immature, I'll use that word, you, you find something satisfying in the idea of like, I got what I got. You, if you got problems, that's your problem. It's so simple. It's so not complicated. It's so immature. It's such an easy way to go through life. Uh, and so I feel like it's, you know, partly to call it philosophy is the way to overdress it. It's like, it is backing up, uh, you know, lack of historical context, lack of uh, empathy, you know, lack of doing any of the hard work. So it's like, you know, why it seems like a natural fit for people who are, who've kind of lucked into great wealth, who, who believe they were smart, right? That was always part of it. They always did believe they were the smartest. And so it, it makes sense on some level of like, you know, hey, I got rich and I think I'm smart, I earned it, everyone else who doesn't have it is, is, is stupid and, and deserves that too. Now, I mean, it takes a lot, it's funny, I, you read about other cultures, like uh, there was a great book I read about, uh, about um, the history of the one laptop per computer, uh, one laptop per child computer project, and, and it's called uh, The Charisma Machine. Anyway, and it, it's just, she talks about how when she looked at this project in Latin America, in Paraguay, it was just so much more common for people there to, to, to ascribe their success to luck. It's just a very natural thing. I was so lucky. I was in the right place, and then I actually came up with this program. Everyone liked it, and I became, you know, very wealthy. Like, that's just a very normal – in America, you never had that. So it just, it just fits in a very American uh, model of, of going through life. And it's really very, very dangerous and pernicious. And, you know, I think we're, America right now is, like, kind of uh, – going through a shockwave because we've had like 40 years of this, you know, insanity of sort of saying that there's no racism, there's no sexism, there, the income inequality is all earned. I mean, it's like, it's cuckoo. And, you know, how long can a country like live with this entire uh, insanity of not confronting reality? And I think that's kind of what's been going on. And so I, I feel like uh, that's why I can put Silicon Valley and give it importance because I think they have been a propagator of this really bad way of going through life, a bad way of creating a society where you put freedom. Again, if you see freedom as being, you know, my ability to say speech and not caring that who gets driven out for being on the fringes, it's very, again, it seems totally plausible. Like I'm free. I, I, I once wrote about kind of, um, I felt like a really interesting uh, episode back at Stanford in the eighties, they had a bulletin board and it had to do with whether they should have like some censoring of, these jokes that were told on the bulletin board for being offensive or being racist. And, you know, it was common to see these computer science students who are now like probably running big companies go, I'm white. I, their jokes about white people. I don't get offended. What's the problem? You know, that like, what do you, would you call that a philosophy? I mean, it's like, it's so, uh, it's so unaware of the world. It's beyond, it's just sort of like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to give it that respect to call it philosophy, but I think it's a very selfish sort of, uh, solipsistic worldview, and I think it fits well with that with those people, sadly.